Hi guys, Rob here. Recently, Microsoft removed the ability to easily create a local account on your PC. Instead, they force you to sign in with a Microsoft account. And who wants that, right? And it's especially annoying when you don't have any internet access and you can't continue at all. Well, today I'm going to show you how to bypass or skip that nonsense and also show you how to create a Windows install USB drive that will remove that requirement for future installations. Let's start with bypassing the requirement during the initial setup. Turn on your PC, then continue on to the next screens as we'll do this process later. On the Let's Connect You to a Network page, hold the Shift key on your keyboard and press F10. The command window will pop up. Click into it and then type OOBE forward slash bypass NRO and press enter. Your computer will restart. Now you can choose your country or region and click next. Then select your keyboard layout. Add a second keyboard layout if you need it. Finally, we don't have to connect to the internet. Choose continue with limited setup. Accept the license agreement. Give your local account a name. Add a password if you need it. I recommend setting all the privacy settings to no, but it's up to you. Once you're done, Windows will complete the setup process and eventually you should end up on the desktop. Congratulations, you've got a Windows 11 local account. Now you can install drivers or connect to the internet and go from there. I recommend having a Windows 11 install USB drive as a backup in case things go wrong in the future or if you ever want to reinstall Windows 11 from scratch. You'll need a USB drive at least 8GB in size to create it. Make sure there's nothing important on the USB drive as everything will be deleted when creating the Windows installation drive. First go to the official Windows 11 download page, which I've linked in the video description. Select the Windows 11 ISO. The language. And download it. While the download is going, head to the download page for the app Rufus which I've also linked in the video description, and download it. Once you've got both, you can insert the USB drive if you haven't already, and open Rufus. Choose your USB drive. This is very important, as choosing the wrong drive will delete all the data on that drive. Double or triple check if you need to, or you can unplug and replug the drive if you're still unsure to get the correct drive letter. Next, select the Windows 11 ISO that was downloaded previously. Then press Start. Here, make sure the Remove Requirements for an online Microsoft account is ticked. You can also add the local account with a username if you use the same one every time. For me personally, all these options are useful, but choose which ones are relevant to you. Click OK to get started. Once the USB is done, you'll be able to use it on any PC to either repair or install Windows 11 from scratch without having to do the first method in the video. Plug in the USB stick when powering on your PC and press the key on your keyboard to access the boot menu. It's usually one of the function keys. From there, you can choose to run the USB drive and repair or install Windows from scratch. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials in the future. See ya!